you know that advertising today becomes more and more difficult and uh, advertising is prohibited already in many many countries television outdoor print everything become restricted so you need to promote products mostly engaging with the consumer direct rather than advertising in a mass way give me an example so, for example, in the uh, United States, uh, you engage in all cool bars, uh, famous restaurants. You come there with the beautiful Russian girls from Miss Russia, for example, and they offer Moscow Mule, some beautiful sparkling wine. In the United States, the Moscow Mule, it's a cocktail that involves Russian standard, has, has really been helping your sales there. It's all about ritual. You have a cocktail, which is called Moscow Mule, which is a combination of ginger beer and vodka. You serve it in a copper mug, very beautiful copper mug of Russian standard. And um, why we do this? So consumption of vodka today should be not only just in short or just with juice or with Coca-Cola, with something else. It's all about rituals, so different rituals for different uh, consumer audience. So since we last spoke, uh, not only have you bought another vodka company and expanded your production tenfold, but you also went out and bought an Italian winery and you're now a big Italian wine producer. Is, is the goal to sort of broaden your offering from vodka to sparkling wine and, and maybe beyond? So practically, I'm after big categories, and uh, sparkling wine category is a pretty big category and growing everywhere. Surprise, surprise, it's growing exactly in the same areas where the vodka is growing. So if you take uh, four major markets for sparkling wines, they're absolutely the same that for vodka. So it's about United States, it's about United Kingdom, it's about Germany, it's about Russia. So you get Eastern your distributors Europe. to take both. Exactly.